Hello, today I'm talking to you about foundation settlement. So what are the main types of foundation settlement and what really is it? So when, uh, let's say you construct a foundation and you apply some loading here, you compress the soil and the ground underneath the foundation. This causes the ground to sink and the foundation to sink. And this can happen in several different ways. So this can happen through uniform settlement, which is where the uh, entire foundation sinks uniformly. You can have tipping settlement, where the foundation tips to one side, um, and differential settlement, where just one part of the foundation actually dips. Perhaps there's some soft pocket of ground over here, uh, which is causing just that area to drop. And this can cause damage and issues to the building and its facade. And so it's pretty bad. So we, as engineers, we have to uh, run some calculations and some checks to make sure that foundation settlement isn't likely to damage the foundation or the structure. So how are the ways in which you can calculate foundation? So there's two main ways to do this. You can either use empirical methods or closed form calculations where you use essentially maths equations and some historical correlations and trends in data from past projects for different ground conditions, different geometries, to run some checks and predict what kind of uh, settlement you might find in this case. You can also run for more advanced cases. Let's say you have some of that case where it's the soft pocket of ground on one corner. You can run some of this finite element analysis. And nowadays, uh, this is slightly more common uh, with the software that we use, but still these empirical methods are very useful, and especially in the feasibility in the early stages of construction projects. What are the different types of settlement? So there's basically three main types of settlement, um, and then they all combine together to form this total settlement. So these three types of settlement are basically immediate settlement, which if you look on the chart here on the right, happens, it's this SI phase. So this normally happens actually during construction, and this is where you first apply some loading onto the foundation, or even the self-weight of the foundation itself causes the uh, immediate settlement to happen. And this is basically where no water is uh, being released from the pores of the ground yet. So let's say it's some type of clay, some undrained analysis, then that's all still locked inside. So it's just the initial compression of the ground. And this happens over a really short space of time. You then have this uh, consolidation settlement, which is where the water drains out from the pores in the ground. Uh, and this happens over time, and then this is one that can really cause some of the uh, damage to foundation, uh, to buildings and the facades, is because this happens over time, uh, after the, you've already uh, erected the building and put on the facade. And then finally, you have this thing called secondary compression, which I won't talk about so much today, but that happens later on. Uh, and then you combine all these together to form what is total settlement. So you can calculate settlement in different ways. So you generally split it into undrained analysis and drained analysis. Undrained analysis is for things like clays and uh, silts and materials which don't release the water straight away. Um, so immediate settlement can be calculated using this method, Yushita Meyerhoff, if you want to use these closed form calculations. Um, you can pause the video here and read on perhaps some of the different parameters that get used. And then total settlement, there's various methods to calculate both of these. And the method that we use in the calculator on Sybil's AI is this main method. Uh, drained analysis is slightly different. So you can calculate uh, immediate settlement using a method called Ber uh, Berland and Burbridge. Uh, there's other methods available as well. It uses a similar approach with some correlations on the geometry and uh, ground parameters. And uh, the thing with drained analysis is basically you don't, the water isn't trapped within the ground, so it's released instantly um, because it's things like sands and gravels. And so this total settlement equals the immediate settlement. So you can kind of assume that that immediate settlement happens instantly. And that's the total settlement. Let's take a look at uh, our tool on Civil's AI and how you can use that to calculate settlement yourself. So here we are on Civil's AI, and uh, here's our foundation settlement calculator. So you'll see here the immediate settlement results and the total settlement results. You can set the foundation shape. Uh, right now it's fixed on rectangular, but we're gonna develop circular as well. 
You can set your foundation length, foundation width, embedment, unfactored load here. So this is a serviceability calculation, so you don't factor your load as an input here. Um, you can click edit geology. This will allow you to change the geology, updating the layer thicknesses, the conditions. So as you see here, we're doing some drained analysis on both these layers, friction angle, strength parameter, drained modulus. Um, if I change this to undrained, you'll see here the parameter changes for our input. So now we're using shear strength. So if I was to change this to 10, uh, let's like leave this as five and make this, let's say 50 for our, um, our, our average SPT for the drained uh, analysis. Let's hit save changes. And you'll see, okay, the profile's updated slightly. And you see now we have immediate settlement and total settlement are different. That's because in this case now, we're looking at the undrained analysis case as well, where um, you have uh, immediate settlement is just one part of the total settlement. If you wanna look at your results, you can click this tab over here. So results summary, and this will break down, uh, you know, your input serviceability load, immediate settlement, total settlement, and then for each individual layer, how this is calculated. So you see here that the, for this drained analysis, your initial settlement and total settlement are the same, but for this undrained analysis, you're having this difference with the initial settlement plus your consolidation settlement, as we talked about in the last section of this presentation. Um, and then that equals plus the secondary compression, the total settlement. You can see the full calculation here. So we give you the workings, so how you arrive at your answer. So here we have for the made ground. So this is calculating using the Mayerhoff, uh, Yushita Mayerhoff method, which is undrained analysis. And then the total settlement calculation uses the May method and the workings for this are here. You can also click weathered rock and you'll see this uh, is the drained analysis calculation. And very simple and easy to get, uh, get started. And yeah, this is just a tool for estimating really. It's for early stage planning and it gives you an idea of roughly the settlement that you could uh, foresee. But in a lot of cases, it's more complex than this. So please bear that in mind. Thank you for listening.